Hello guys, today we're going to talk about Pseudoforce. So Pseudoforce is one of the concepts in physics which may seem to be a little bit weird at first. Like, come on, it's a Pseudoforce, it doesn't even exist. But once you get the hang of it, it's really useful in a particular set of problems, which I'm going to discuss in another video. So it's a good concept to learn. So let's dive straight into it. Pseudoforce number one. The first most important point about a pseudoforce is that it is a false or it is a fake force as the name suggests. Well, duh. I mean, it's pseudo, so obviously. It's a false or fake force. That means that this force does not actually exist. It's only an imagination. It's a human construct. Imagination. We imagine this force to exist in a particular set of scenarios that I'm going to tell you right now. And then we solve our problem. So the important point to note is that this force is actually not existing in reality. All right. It's a fake force. It's a total imagination force. So why do we actually do this? Why are we actually complicating stuff? We already have a lot of forces. So let's talk about Newton's laws of motion. Newton's LOM, please understand it, this means laws of motion. So the very basic fundamental point of Newton's laws of motion were their applicability. And their applicability was only in inertial frames of reference, forest frames of reference. What does an inertial frame of reference mean? If I, as an observer, am standing over here and watching a block of mass m, it does not depend whether the block is accelerating or the block is not accelerating. But when I am observing the block moving in a particular direction, then I have to have a zero acceleration. So inertial frame of reference means a frame of reference in which the acceleration of the frame has to be zero. So I may be moving at a velocity which is constant or I may be at rest. But my but my acceleration of the frame I'm standing in, the acceleration of the ground or whatever wherever I'm standing, has to be equal to zero. Has to be equal to zero, which is known as an inertial frame of reference. But then where the concept of pseudoforce pseudoforce is really really handy is this. Suppose I'm sitting on a cart, all right, so I have a cart over here, and I'm standing, all right, I'm standing on the top of a cart of mass m, which is accelerating with an acceleration of a1, and then I'm seeing a block of mass capital M, which is accelerating with an acceleration of a2. Now, how do I find all the quantities which Newton's laws of motion used to give me? How do I find the velocity, the acceleration, the time, the distance? I can't do any of this. Because my reference frame, my reference frame is a non-inertial, is a non-inertial reference frame. Because I have an acceleration which is non-zero, acceleration of my frame is non-zero. So I cannot apply my Newton's laws of motions. Poor me. So what do we do in such situations? To convert a non-inertial reference frame to an inertial reference frame, we introduce the concept of pseudo force. So what we actually do is that we apply a pseudo force when we're observing an object inside a non-inertial reference frame and once that we've applied the force we can convert the entire situation into an inertial reference frame and we can solve the problem just like a normal easy simple problem we've done and we can get all of these quantities. So basically the use of a pseudo force is this basic conversion. All right. So let let me just explain, let me help you guys get the feel of what a pseudoforce really is. Because physics is the understanding of the world. Once you're not, if you're not getting the feel of things, it's a little hard to understand concepts. So let's suppose you're in a bus, all right? You're in a bus, you're standing on the top of the bus or sitting inside, whatever. A bus is moving at an, with an acceleration of A, and you see stuff on the road. Here's the road, all right? Here's the road, and you see plants growing on the side of the road. Forgive me for my bad growing. All right, now because you are inside the bus, this is your reference frame. This is your reference frame, because from this frame, you're looking at the world outside. Now, because you consider yourself to be at rest inside the bus, obviously you're sitting inside the bus, you're at rest. So what you see 
is that you feel that these plants on the road are actually moving back with an acceleration of a. All these plants are moving back with an acceleration of a. Because you consider yourself to be at risk, so you consider the entire world around yourself to be moving. So then, if you want to consider yourself in an inertial reference frame, and if you want to make a free body diagram and do all that stuff, then you will have to imagine as if there is an, an there is an imaginary force acting on my little plan, which is equals to m times a. And that is precisely why my plan appears to be moving in the backward direction. So this is the basic feel of a pseudo force. You feel that things are moving backwards, and hence you apply an imaginary force. So now I consider I can consider myself to be on the ground at rest. Now I'm back in an inertial frame, and now the plant is moving backwards with m times a. So I apply this force m times a, and because my mass of the plant is m, so it's going with an acceleration of a in this direction. All right. So this was the basic concept of a pseudo force. Now a very, very, very important point, which is not to be missed. Let me suppose. F pseudo force, FP, F substrate, P equals force of pseudo force equals mass times acceleration. First of all, this mass. This mass is of the object being observed. So if I'm observing a man and his mass is capital M, I'm going to use capital M in, term, in place of this. If I'm observing a small cart of mass small m, I'm going to use small m. So basically, this mass is the mass of the object observed. Acceleration. This is the most important point. Now let me suppose that I'm standing on a truck again. This truck has a mass of m. I'm over here and the truck is going with an acceleration of a. And now I'm observing another truck, again a mass of m, moving with the same acceleration of a. I am observing this object of mass m. So obviously m is going to be m because it's the mass of the object observed, but my acceleration is still going to be A. My acceleration is still going to be A, which brings me to the second point. Acceleration A is not relative, relative acceleration. Sorry, I made, I wrote three C's. So this is not my relative acceleration. This is the absolute acceleration of the frame, of the frame. So if my acceleration is going with A, I'm going to write A. This is my acceleration of the frame, which is equal to A, all right? So this is always going to remain A. It's not going to be the relative acceleration. So I'm not going to write zero just because this, this is moving with an acceleration of A because this is moving with an acceleration of A. This is not the relative acceleration. And how you can get a feel of this concept is that if I took relative acceleration, all right, if I took relative acceleration and if I was actually at rest, so if this mass, if this uh, truck of mass m was actually at rest on the ground and this was moving with an acceleration of a, then the acceleration relative between us would be a in the positive x direction. So even if I were in an inertial frame of reference, I would get a pseudo force because it equals mass times a and my relative acceleration equals a. But no, this does not happen, right? Obviously, whenever you're, you're inside an inertial frame of reference, you have no pseudo force. So this acceleration is always the acceleration of the frame and it is not the relative acceleration this is a trick question people can trick you into marking the pseudo force equals to zero in this problem it looks really tempting like come on both of us are moving with an acceleration away so why, why why will i actually feel that this person over here this mass over here is actually having a pseudo force on it but no it's the absolute acceleration all right so this was the basic concept i hope you guys liked the video please give me a thumbs up if you really liked it and subscribe to my channel and write topics you want me to make video on in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.